talk about shutting the star back down for the season, but according to Barkley, don't expect that to happen. I do not agree with that idea at all. Um, I, I don't, one, that's not fair to my teammates. And two, when you say running backs have so many carries, and I mean, we're, I don't I don't know, like, yes, yeah, like, is there some people that I guess the average career length of a running back is not as long as other players. Uh, but when I think of you know, the, the great running backs who played, but those guys were able to um, withstand a bigger workload back in the day than what we are now, the, the mindset of sitting me out and uh, resting me for the rest of the season. Um, is beyond me. Um, I do not agree with it. Um, I'm going to keep going until uh, I can't go no more. And um, that's the player, player I am, and I'm going to do that for my teammates. I love that that guy's on my team. But, Max, got to ask yeah. you this. Let's be honest. Our Giants are going nowhere. So yeah. who has more to lose if he keeps playing? Is it Saquon and his career or our Giant squad? Easily Saquon. It's his whole career. As I said, he has – I believe he's the greatest running back prospect in the history of football. Any level. History football, he's the number one prospect. And I think his rookie season started to bear that out right away. Think about your favorite running back. Saquon's bigger than that guy. He's stronger than that guy. He's faster than that guy. He's more elusive than that guy. Mm -hmm. He's more of a franchise quarterback personality than that guy. He works at least as hard. No one's going to outwork. Like, you know, like he's the perfect running back prospect. And his rookie year was sensational, and that was behind a terrible offensive line. Saquon Barkley is hurt, clearly. Right now, he's hurt. How do I know this? Because he carried the ball 13 times and picked up one yard. Yeah. Not possible unless he's hurt. I mean, like, I I've lived long enough to know that. I don't need to know anything else. 13 carries, one yard, that man's hurt. I don't care what their game plan was. I don't care where they played. I don't but he's never going to tell you that because he's not going to make an excuse. That's why you love the guy on your team. It's one of the million reasons you love him on your team. Now, in terms of what the Giants have to lose, yes, it's true. Gurley and Zeke and McCaffrey, you know, they go in the top ten nowadays, right, if you want that elite back. It's not like it used to be you could – except that Kamara and, and, like, Dalvin Cook is as good as any of those guys. And they went in the second round, in the third round. So you can still – you may not get Saquon Barkley, but you can get a hell of an all-purpose back – in the later rounds, if you're the Giants, in one of these drafts coming up, just burn a second or third round pick. You'll get a great guy if you know what you're looking at. Um, Saquon Barkley, this is his whole life. This is his legacy. He has a chance to be special in a way we haven't seen Barry Sanders but 233. And you're going to risk that on a 2-8 and eight squad? He needs to be protected from himself. It's like a fighter. I need to get back out. The corner man has to say, nah, his great uncle. I ran Barkley, great middleweight champion. No, 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 Saquon. Not this time. You live to fight another day. I don't want to see Saquon KD'd. And not on the altar of winning a championship, but on the altar of trying not to finish with the worst record in football. Get all the way out of here. Of course, Saquon has more to lose. Stephen A. It's for, the ex it's for the exact reasons that you mentioned that I would say the Giants have more to lose because mm -hmm. it's their future. And the fact of the matter is they're wasting it away by utilizing this guy in this particular, in this particular way. The reality of the situation is that Pat Sherman needs to go. There needs to be a better coaching staff. Word. There needs to be a better system. There mm -hmm. needs to be something more conducive to elevating <laughs> I tell the you what, the amen and squad capitalizing. Over here. <laughs> That's yeah. right, and capitalizing off the growth of Saquon Barkley. That's what needs to happen. The reason why I don't agree, I love Saquon's attitude who played all 16 games last year. I love the fact that he feels that way. He said exactly what he was supposed to say. He feels exactly how he's supposed to feel, and I applaud it. But if I am the New York Giants, and I'm going to have any kind of future in order to take care of him, it's not just about preserving him. It's making sure to put a di different personnel, a different system, and a different staff, more importantly than anything else, around him. They are abusing this kid. They are wasting him away. They are not appreciative of the gift that they have. And it's evidenced by Odell Beckham Jr., believe it or not, because if you had the right coach and you had the right system, You'd have two cornerstones for your franchise, and you would have been fine with that, okay? But the problem is the New York Giants don't have that because 
because of their culture and their willingness or their insatiable appetite to preserve what once was and no longer is, they're just not paying attention. The bottom line is you're wasting away Saquon Barkley. He does not need to be playing. He needs to be on the sidelines. But it's not just to protect him from injury. It's to protect him from Pat Shermer. It's to protect him from Dave Gettleman. It's to protect him from Giants brass who are not what they used to be. You need wholesale changes in New York City when it comes to the New York Giants. And until that takes place, you're just abusing the kid. Well, it's Saquon Barkley for me, and, and it's not even close. And when you look at this situation, you just take the NFL for what it is. It's about replacing you. It's about tolerating you until they can replace you. And then when they replace you, they put somebody else in that jersey. And then people come to the games and they sit in the stands to cheer for that dude that's wearing 26 now because it didn't matter that you wore it before. Saquon Barkley has one career. He has one opportunity. And the reason this is so glaring, and I like Max mentioning the stats from last week, the reason Max stood here all throughout the summer and talked about Saquon Barkley was because of all those things he listed. And if Saquon, so Saquon Barkley is playing against the Jets and all he could get is one yard on 13 carries, then something is wrong with him. And Saquon Barkley is exactly right. As long as you can walk and you can put on cleats no and put on that helmet and go play, you wear it. So you protect him. You look back to last year with Aaron Rodgers when he suffered the knee injury, when he was kind of hurt all season and hobbling and he wasn't playing well. At least that team was in contention to get to the playoff. But as soon as they couldn't, he put on a coat, he put on a jacket, and he watched the last game of the season. And so they have to protect Saquon Barkley. And I get it. In football, we don't do this. There isn't load management. There isn't, you know what, we have a back-to-back -back so we can wait until tomorrow when we're on TV again after NBA countdown. That's not how it works. And so for Saquon Barkley, and I understand Pat Shermer needs to win for his career. And I understand that the fans buy tickets because they want to come see Saquon Barkley. The problem is the dude that they got to watch on Sunday is not Saquon Barkley. Yeah. You know that what? guy isn't half of Saquon Barkley. You know what, guys? And Stephen A., I will go to my grave believing that KD already had an Achilles issue when he, when he was playing in the finals. But I at least understand, because I was on TV saying, I don't care what the doctors say. If I know that that looks like Achilles and everybody knows, then I'm saying don't play. It's not worth it. But KD could at least come out and say, you know what? On the altar of pursuing a championship, that risk is worth it to me. Okay, even if you don't believe the diagnosis, I understand that at least. On the altar of what? You're two and eight, mm -hmm. finishing with four wins yeah. instead of three wins. You're going to risk, because I don't care what they say. He's not physically right. I will go to my grave believing that lose Saquon lose is hurt yeah. right and now. It's and a lose-lose yeah. for the team and the players. Well, it is, but let's look at the teams. Let's look at, there's no Ben Roethlisberger in Pittsburgh. Are we talking about that team? There's no Antonio Brown now. Are we talking about that team? Yeah. There's no Cam Newton in Carolina anymore, and we're talking about that team. And so teams move on from players. Players don't get to move on and have another football career mm -hmm. once theirs is over. All right. I don't want to see Saquon KD'd. I like that. And there's no load management in football. Dropping gems. <laughs>